What's up guys, we have the post from Jagex about the actual changes to the staff of Armadil and the Animate Dead, the balancing proposals and feedback discussion. So this seems like, um, seeing as they put balancing proposals, it seems like they're going to take feedback into account here and maybe make some adjustments, but we'll take a look. This is quite a long post as you can see. And of course, the whole point of this is that you go and add your own thoughts and stuff to the bottom of this. So what we're going to do is going to read through this. I'll post this as a video and then I'll link this in the description uh, for anyone who has time to come and have actually share their thoughts with this here. The more thoughts we get, the more feedback they get, the better, obviously. Um, and I would suggest taking it with a little bit of like, just, just wait until you get to the end before you just jump to conclusions. Um, but hey, we haven't read it yet. It could be good. It could be bad. We'll see what happens. I'm going to assume it's probably fine, but let's just take a look. Um, um, but it's literally just released, so I've not had a look. Uh, it says, as you saw in our latest This Week in RuneScape, we're looking to make adjustments to both the Fractal Staff of Armadil and Animate Dead. But before we do, I want to hear from you and your thoughts on our proposal. This is about feedback. We're opening this discussion today, weeks before any potential release, in order to hear your thoughts on our proposed changes and get your feedback. Nothing of what you are about to read is set in stone. Brilliant, good. This is an important change for us to make, but it's equally important we make these changes in the right time and in the right way. Okay, this is, this is good to see. Constructive detailed comments will help us understand all perspectives as best as possible to help inform where we go from here. While balancing changes will always have an element of necessity, we want a perspective in mind when we make them. With that said, let's get to the changes. Right. So we're going to jump to the thing soon. I just want to say, if anyone does come over to this, especially from um, watching this video, please don't leave anything like pointless and, and just directly negative and like like trash talk and all that sort of stuff. If you're going to post something, try your best to be constructive um, and be detailed and just like like good intentions. Don't just put trash, don't do it, you know? Like, just, just, yeah, be genuine with it. Anyway, Animate Dead, let's have a look. In its current state, Animate Dead is unfortunately just performing too well with very little downside. I agree with this. In particular, it's overly synergistic with other sources of damage reduction and creates a scenario where lots of low damage hits can no longer threaten players. That being said, we do like that Animate Dead has increased the viability of tank armor and allows more players to get into PVM. This bit here, is great to notice because of course we uh this is what most people worried about people who got into pvm i'm thinking oh, i'm not gonna be able to so um let's see what they've done with that in mind our goal is to make a conservative change to animate dead we want to balance it out while preserving that tanky experience many of you love here's what we're looking to do cannot reduce damage by more than 60 percent well, 75%, 15% is not a big deal. Damage reduction now uses 25% of damage of defense level, was 33%, okay. Now only works versus core damage types, melee, magic, and ranged, and will not work versus typeless uh, or reflect, that sort of stuff. Okay, um, so this is, a, this is a fairly decent amount of damage change, I would say, especially when you count the fact that it won't do anything with typeless um that'll be something to keep in mind as well and the defense reduction and the the 15 percent from the other one as well will probably be noticeable but it let's just continue reading and see what they say the biggest of these changes we see is the move towards core damage types commonly pvm mechanics where we want players to show some level of skill to proceed in the fight will use non-core damage types and as such aren't affected by damage reducing prayers requiring players to get the mechanic right or suffer from uh, some form of punishment. Animate Dead previously excelled in letting players just ignore mechanics, it did, such as Zamorak's Rune of Destruction Attack. This was a bit of an issue from it, to be fair. Like, people just face tanked everything and didn't actually put the practice in, right? As such, Animate Dead was creating a large amount of design depth that was having uh, to be considered when creating new encounters, limiting our ability to create existing mechanics or combat for you as players that Animate Dead could disregard entirely. Yeah, I, so... I know a lot of players that are getting into PVM likes this aspect of it, of I just use Animate Dead and I can face tank it, but this is an issue um, overall. And I think like reducing the damage that you take while you're learning and stuff is fine for Animate Dead uh, at the cost of DPS. But when you just ignore mechanics completely, it kind of changes the experience. And I guess it would also take away from the fight too. Despite this shift, the resulting damage mitigation changes to, uh, changes to Animate Dead are fairly small. 
here's a table for comparison to outline the impact to a similar geared level player. Okay, so they've actually given an example of stuff too. So live and then post changes. Player has these singles hood, leg, tops, def uh, 99 defense, animate dead, uh, value 240. Okay. All right, okay. That's not too, that's not too big. It's the exact same thing, of course. And then it goes from 240 to 213. So, um, 1000 damage versus above player with no animate dead is 850. Um, and 1000 damage. Okay, okay. So that's just the normal damage reduction with animate dead. Uh, 1000 damage with animate dead is 610 damage dealt to the player instead of 637. Okay, that's really nothing. You won't notice that. Uh, 1000 damage versus player with animate dead and protection prayers. Um, 185 and then it's 255 so that's a fair amount but again it's you still got the damage reduction there and this is only because you got the prayers on and they mentioned above about prayers um 500 damage versus uh, above play with no animate dead no animate dead okay so it's gonna be the same with those because it's not using animate dead and then um with prayers it's 53 and then 127 so you do notice uh, a little bit here this this is more than double uh, for this, but it's 500 damage and it's 53 to 127. Like, you're still reducing 500 damage down to 127. I mean, that's still pretty big, right? Like, that's, that's pretty huge, I would say. So, as for animate dead, I do think this is good. I actually... For what they're saying, personally, about the whole um, mechanics and stuff here, limiting our ability to create existing mechanics or combat for, um, for you as the animate dead could district disregard... I don't, obviously, if type plus damage is gone, that's kind of like the good, the, the thing that would work with that for mechanics. Um, and then nerfing it for the smaller hits kind of makes sense. Okay, so I was going to say that I don't know if this will be enough, but because the, the type plus won't work at all, then I, it, will, it would make sense. That would, that would make sense. Okay, I think overall for Animate Dead, the, the, the difference is, is, isn't that big of a deal. And I think people getting into PVM won't really notice the difference. It'll still be absolutely fine for you guys that want to use it just to learn PVM and get easier access. And it'll still work pretty much as as, as you would expect. Uh, you just have to deal with the mechanics still, which is definitely good because it's going to help you improve as well. Okay, Staff of Armadil time. Let's take a look at this. Since the release of Staff of Armadil, the weapon has been bringing death and destruction to anything that gets in its path, both monsters and runes. Assuming you hit the RNG rolls enough, when it comes to the Staff of Armadil, we've identified a number of problems. This sounds like we're going to get a rune change and it's not going to use runes. Let's see. The auto attack problem. Being auto based means the weapon has an extremely high upkeep cost. It does. And I'm glad they've noticed this is a problem. It feels bad to use the special, particularly against lower end bosses, for sure. The damage value is of individual shots from the spec uh, is hard to adjust due to the combat system passing auto attacks um, through for the staff. Okay. The weapon is putting a big design restriction on critical strike as the recursive nature of the special attack means that any future unlocks that affect critical strike push the special close to going infinite this is a good point actually and i didn't even consider this they wouldn't be able to release anything that increases crit chance in the future unless that that spec's never going to drop off like it would never even if they released tier 99 weapons you eof this and it, it would never drop off ever so yeah, that's fair that's a fair, fair point. The damage output of the staff is hitting the limits of what we're comfortable with and far beyond what we've previously introduced, meaning we're less able to create new rewarding upgrades for magic players. Yep, makes sense as well. Um, and I can, like I say, I understand that if you do have the, the weapon that does scale infinitely, it, it makes sense. And like the, the, the Bow of Last Guardian won't do this. It won't scale infinitely. You're still going to get power creep with that as well, depending when you release new abilities and new specs, uh, but not to the same sort of way that this, that the way this works. Okay. So the changes we have in mind are focused on the Staff of Armadil's special attack. Okay. So there's spec changes here. Special attack effect no longer does auto attack damage. Okay. But instead, the extra hit is passed through as an ability. This means there's no longer the cost of runes for each extra crit. That's really freaking good. Really good. Incredibly good. Rune price is going down right now. A projectile is no longer sent from the player to the target as expected from an auto attack. Instead, the green lightning effect from the special attack cast animation will play on the target when hit with an extra hit from a successful proc. Special attack. Okay, wait. So does this mean it doesn't have anything to do with crit anymore? Special attack effect can no longer trigger 
off itself, removing the recursive nature. Okay, so that's like when you um, would get crit autos, and then the autos would crit, and then it would just like completely reset around itself. Special attack effect now deals 60 to 120% ability damage with each crit, and the average of 90% ability damage per fire. Okay, so this is interesting. Does this mean... Okay, so it is a crit. It is a crit, right? Every time you crit, it's still, it's still when it does the ability. So let's just read the next bit to get a full understanding. What this means is the effective damage of the Staff of Armadale will be moved to a balanced place where it performs the weapon of that level should, as a result of losing its recursive nature, while also becoming less of a rune-eating fiend. While this does reduce the power of the Staff of Armadale from where it is today, this makes the ability much easier for us to do control and balance, and ultimately means we will be able to introduce more upgrades that synergize with magic, critical strike, and the staff that we couldn't do without addressing this first. First. Bringing other weapons up to this level is unfortunately not an option as it would introduce the same design problems for other styles and ultimately create less exciting options for future content in those areas too. Okay, so it is going to do less. I like the idea that they've proposed here with the staff, personally. I think it's I think it's clever and I do think it's good. And adding this here um, with the, the, the thing not taking the runes anymore is obviously going to be great. Like one of the issues people have with the staff and when people said about, oh, it's getting nerfed in the damage is that the upkeep cost is ridiculous. Like you want to use Grimoire all the time and then you've got the rune cost on top. So that's now gone pretty much. So that's good to see. You know, we're draining through those insanely fast now. Um, but the only thing that would be a little bit sad to see, in my opinion, would be if the damage drops off massively. Now, not saying that, oh, we can't afford a little DPS loss. That's that's fine. Like, if there's a little DPS loss, whatever. But it doesn't specifically say, and I don't know from the math. I don't know what, what it is. I'm sure someone will work it out. Someone will do something to work out the actual math of this. Um, exactly what the difference will be. But if it's a big DPS loss, that's going to hurt a little bit. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see. But if it's close to what it is now and you're losing the, the the cost of it and it's also obviously it's obviously better for the game and i didn't even personally think of the things about what they said about like um being able to create the any of the weapons because of the critical start strike and the the recursive nature of it and stuff makes sense does make sense but if the staff becomes a lot less than where it is now in terms of like damage and kill times and stuff it's gonna hurt a little bit uh, it's gonna hurt a little bit but this also means a few other things. It means you can't use Blood Barrage to heal uh, and get AoE damage. It means that any auto attacks that you would use through this no longer give you that effect. So that's interesting. You're going to lose the, the Blood Barrage. Um, you can lose the AoE damage, but you are going to save runes. So it's a pretty big change and it's something that you're going to have to think about. And I'm sure I've missed things here that, that could be worth thinking about as well in comparison to what like people are going to think of stuff and say ah oh, but that also means this and then i'll yeah so personally i i, I kind of like the idea of the the change with the few other things but it's it's definitely going to be interesting to see the difference between where the damage is at now single target damage i think is the main thing you're losing the healing as well but it's not a big deal you can still soul split while getting those extra hits and um I guess we'll have to see an adrenaline gain. This is going to change a lot of stuff too. It could change a lot of things that you can use for perks. I know a lot of people got the thing that every time you use an auto uh, an auto attack, that you got more adrenaline. That's gone now. That's changed. Um, is the armadal battle staff not going to be worth using now? Is another question. And this is an issue because of how expensive it is. We'll have to see. People will probably have to let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Um, share your thoughts here as well, but also make sure you come to this thread and do that. So they say, now we want to hear from you. Now it's back to you. The whole purpose of this post is about gathering feedback and getting your input on how you feel about where we're going with these changes. While balancing over performance weapons and spells is important, as we've mentioned, it's even restricting design choices on doing even cooler things for future encounters or other magic upgrades. This comes with an impact and we want to understand your perspective on it too. I'm here with um, Jagged Sponge today to chat with you all for the next few hours and we'll be also um, spread at least running to on Friday to continue the conversation. Okay, um, so there you go. That's pretty much it. Now, I think it's important that they do change it because of this, right? Um, it's, re it's restricting design choices on doing even cooler things in the future. This alone, you should change it 
you should do it if it's like if it's if that's what it's doing to the dev uh, the dev um ideas and stuff and they can't do anything because they're like ah but staff of armadillo then they it needs changing it is what it is right um but overall i don't know man it's it's a big change what do you guys think i'm not gonna really give a whole lot of um like final thoughts on this because i don't want you guys to come here and just repeat what i'm saying uh but i just wanted to sort of clarify what they were saying here that way but anyway let me know what you think in the comments let them know what you think i'll link this in the description and uh let's see what happens thanks for watching guys i appreciate it and i'll catch you in the next one see you later guys bye